Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to the garden. How are you? How are you? Again, how are you? All right, it is another beautiful day today. Every day is beautiful, can I tell you? Whether it's raining, whether it's hot, whether it's not so cool, it's always beautiful. As long as you are up and out and doing, it is a beautiful day. Okay, started the video with you looking at this little bobo. Look at this little bobo. These are the bobo hydrangeas planted in containers at the very front. And these bobos are not happy. Look at my little bobos. They are not doing well here. And so, rather than have these guys sit here in the container and make it through, like you say, we'll make it through the summer, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to move them from this spot. I'm seeing them because there are two. Let me show you the other one. So this is one here. And we are walking it down. I hope it doesn't make you guys dizzy when I do this, right? Okay, here is the other. This one is definitely not a happy bobo, right? Not a happy bobo. And I'll tell you why. Let me show you the ones that are planted in the ground. Just peek the camera up here just a bit. Just a second and I'll get that shot for you. There you go. Do you see those hydrangeas in the background? That's the same bobo. Yes. So the bobos in the ground are doing awesome. The ones that I have in the containers are not feeling me at the moment. They are not feeling me. And so I am going to make it right, right? Yes, I am. I'm going to take these old ladies out and I am going to transplant them. Moving them over here to our rose walk where we have the other bobos. If you notice, we have the beautiful run of white and white right here and then it just ends we are going to carry that white further to the gate by adding them taking you down some more we're going to put them right here okay they're going to go right here now initially i was thinking that i would have removed this endless summer hydrangea in order to plant the two bobos but let me tell you I could not for the life of me figure out a spot in the garden to transplant the endless summer hydrangea. Everywhere else in my garden is full sun, all day sun, and they would not enjoy it there, right? This bed, this entire bed was actually made because of these endless summer hydrangeas. I had them on the opposite side of the house, and they were getting morning shade, afternoon sun. They were burning, they were unhappy. Yeah, so that's why I made this bed for them, so that they would have a place to grow and be happy. Now, they are doing better this year, right? Didn't get much blooms because of all the late freezes that we had this spring. This is actually their first, first little bloom that she has for me. But I've decided not to remove her from the space because there's nowhere else for me to put her. And I'm not going to um, go through all that effort that to, again, lose a plant. So what I will do is leave them here. And I will place one of our bobos on the right of the end of summer hydrangea. And then another on the left. All right. And that will help us to carry the white from the initial bobos. See right there at the top of the bed. We will at least be bringing this white down to the center almost to the end of the bed all right so i think it's going to be i think it's going to be a good move i think it's going to be a worthwhile move now when i'm transplanting anything in the summer i like to do it at this time of the day always in the evenings as i feel it it, it is cooler i figure it's going to be less stress on the plant and at least the plant does have the overnight hours to just relax a little bit before the heat of the day hits it again tomorrow so afternoons are always, I'm, I'm sorry, late evenings are always the best time for me to transplant anything <laughs> during the summer. All right, listen, I can talk, right? I didn't know I could talk so much. Okay, so before I get on to talking anymore, let's put the camera down and let's go ahead and I'm going to get the bobos out of the containers and get them nestled in their new spot. And then I'll show you what the finished product is. <laughs> All right. What's the likelihood, do you guys think, that my hydrangea would have rooted um, already to the sides of the pot? Do you think that's possible? I don't know either. I don't know. All right. 
let's get the mulch away. Let's get something to put the mulch on and then let's uh, see what we're working with. All right, let me take you in close for a second. I am seeing roots now. Look at this, yeah? Get you on in here. You see those really fine roots? So she has rooted, she is rooted. Yeah, we're gonna have a sizable root ball. If I can get out most of that root ball, that will be good. Um, let me give it a try. Let's see what happens. I'm not quite sure how to do this. I have to do it as if she's planted in the ground, right? It would be interesting to see if her roots have gotten to the bottom of the container, yeah? <gasps> Guess what? She actually already rooted through the bottom of the container. Let me show you. So again, as mentioned, this is a bottomless container, right? So, and she has been in here for uh, about three months. And look, do you see those roots? She started rooting to the bottom of the container. Look at that. Wow, it's amazing. Oh, all right. But we're still going to go ahead and move her. Because we know that she's not happy in this space, be it too much sun, or just not liking the container. Oh, and hopefully she will continue to root as well as she is rooted. Um, now if I could pick up the container, what would happen if I picked up the container, guys? Let me see if I can lift the container and just carry the, the whole container back there. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Huh, I should have thought this through. I didn't think this through, right? Let's see what happens. You would think that I would have thought it through. Oi, let's see, let's see, let's see. She's the one you've been missing, baby. I'm trying to loosen her up so that we can get as much of that root ball out as possible. Whose heart did you steal? Can you guys see me? I'm trying to loosen her up so that we can get uh, as much of her root ball as possible. Her soil is very dry, which means I was watering every other day, which I needed to have stepped it up to every day. But when I was watering every day, I saw a lot of a ye yellowing of the leaves. So I was like, yeah, I'm watering too much. So I cut back to every other day. And that too was not enough. All right, so she's out of the container. I actually had to just topple her over, which is not good. But I could not get her out otherwise. Let's get her into this hole and see what we're working with. Actually broke off some of her shoots, which is again not good. All right, it's a big girl right there. We're going to lose some of the root ball. I was trying not to, but we're going to have to lose some. Get some love in here. a little bit of calm and you're in. But she is going to feel what we just did. Right now I just want to get her into this hole. If I tell you that was easy guys, I'm not being truthful. Because that was hard. Look at her roots. Look at this little kid. Look at how she rooted. This is one serious baby right here. All right, let me think about this. Oh, let's think about this. All right, let's, let's hold her. I gotta 
let go of my fears here. I'm afraid of what I might be touching at the bottom of the soil. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. All right. All right. Girl, oh, you gave me trouble. You did not want to get in here. Whew. Guys, that was serious. Look at all of this mess I made on the lawn. Not cool. And she's still not in yet. Now that was actually really very difficult. I was trying to get her in with keeping most of her root ball. That was not happening. Her root ball was just way too big for me. I could not manage it. All right, let's get her in here. That was serious though, that was serious. Not a very successful move, All right? Could have been more efficient. It definitely stressed my baby out, that's for sure. But I am hoping that she is not gonna be too upset with me. All right. Oh, I always seem to break this plant. Every time I move her, I break her stems. This is the second time I'm planting these ladies. Oh. The first time was from this bed into the containers, and now we're putting them back in the bed. That's the nature of gardening, right? We do and we learn. All right. Nature of life, actually. All right, on to container number two. This one was doing a little better. This one was able to open up some panicles for us, but still not as healthy. And now, of course, we know the reason why, right? I was not doing a good job with the watering. Are you guys seeing her? Rooted nicely. Um, I'd have to have a really sizable hole to put her in and I haven't dug the hole that deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, losing a lot of that, uh, a lot of her roots that have been that have rooted around. I'm going to bring it down to size that I can actually put in the hole. And let's hope that they survive for me. If they don't, then we have learned, right? We've learned something. I'd love to take her as she is to get her in that hole in the space, but that is an, honestly not going to happen. All right. So we're just gonna take off some of this root ball. I know it hurts me more than it hurts you guys. <sighs> I'm so worried about what she's going to do.
and get it on the driveway so it's easier for me to clean it up versus oh, I did it in the grass a little while ago. Okay. The bottom's really good stuff, but let's take off a little bit more. Bring it down to a size that we can manage, right? We've got the second one. Let's get this old lady in here. Normally when I transplant things, I never fuss with the root ball, which is why I'm so worried now because I have done, I've literally cut her root ball in half, but I'm hoping that she will not be too upset with me. Get her position here. Bring her out that way versus that way. I'm hoping she won't be too upset with me, guys. Because I have to get her to fit in the hole. they are in okay am I completely confident that I did a good job with this one absolutely not I'm a little bit worried I'm a little bit worried because um, I'm a little bit worried I had to really break apart that root ball you can see some of it left in the wheelbarrow in order to have them fit I could not work with them as big as they were um, now it's just a matter of wait and see and uh, praying that they will root and take to their new home all right so i will definitely update you on this transplant i'll give it a month so we are by the end of yeah september we'll go ahead and do an update in the section to see how the little bobos um how they took to or handle the transplant right was it successful or was it not we will know in a couple of weeks but we did do it late in the afternoon so i just them the uh, heat of the sun but there they are compared to the healthy bobos at the very top of the bed now those are happy hydrangeas at the very top these two that we just put in we can see that they were definitely struggling all right and so I'm happy that I've moved them and yeah putting out good gardener green thumb energy to them so that they will grow and I think they will look beautiful in the space so all right, beautiful people, we are all done. This is what the bed is looking like, right? We've got the healthy bobos hair at the very top. We've added the bobos at the bottom, and it's beautiful because it's already carrying my eyes down. Um, so I'm glad that I've got that continuity. I did not remove the endless summer hydrangeas. They're all still in place. They're just going to have to grow together and be cozy and happy together in the space. Okay, this little cute yellow that you're seeing right here, right here, right here. That is our poet's wife, our poet's wife that has been planted now, bare root, uh, da -da. I think they were planted in April, May, June, July. Three months now in the ground. Look at her, doing so well, doing so. This area is going to hopefully work out very nicely. I've planted very closely in the area and a wider variety than I normally do. But um, I'm hoping that it, it works out and looks well next season. All of this now that I'm doing, I'm, I'm anticipating next spring, next uh, summer, when everything starts blooming again to just see how, how all of the changes that I make now, how they'll actually look. But alrighty, 
let's me stop with the jibbery and thank you guys again thank you so much for joining me for yet another day in the garden it has been awesome spending this time with you i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell so that you will be notified once i've got new videos uploaded again this video is going to be uploaded for our monday so i cannot go without saying happy monday people happy 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 monday Happy Monday. Have an awesome week. Um, as always, do something that makes you feel good. Something that puts a smile on your face. All right. You are all awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.